The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now a man was ill, Lazarus from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was ill. So the sister sent a word to him saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not end to end in death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was healed, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, are, you, are there not 12 hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if he walks in at night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. He said this and then told them, our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be, he will be saved. But Jesus say, was talking about his death while they thought that he meant ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let's go to him. So Thomas called, the Didymus said to his fellow disciples, let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you, are, you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will arise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And in everyone who, be who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him, for Jesus had not yet come into the village but was still where Martha had met him. So when Jesus, who was, so when the Jews who were with her in the house comforting her, saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have come, have done something 
so that this man would not have died. So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now it will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and see what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel today presents us a story of raising Lazarus from the dead to bring him back to life, symbolizing that Jesus himself is the resurrection and the life. This miracle leads us to believe in the resurrection and the new life that which exists in Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Now let us look at the life of Jesus. Jesus loved Lazarus so much. He loved like a brother. Jesus grieved like we do. He had the power to walk on water and raise the dead. But he was just a capa he was capable of uh, feeling the loss. He was capable of feeling the pain. He was capable of feeling the grief. He shares this deep grief over the death of Lazarus with Martha and Mary. The sadness of the women seemed compounded by belief that Jesus had been there. If Jesus had been there, their brother would not have died. Lazarus, on the other hand, had been in the tomb for four days. Martha and Mary take uh, turns confronting Jesus and uh, asking Lord, Lord, if you are here, my brother would not have died. And they cried out. Martha, on the other hand, not just speaking for her grief, she also makes a great, a great profession of faith. He say, she says, even now I know whatever you can ask of God, God will give you. As, as, as uh, upset as uh, Martha may have been about her sister, brother's death and Jesus' absence, she believes that there is still a reason to hope. Somehow Martha knows that Jesus will shine his light on her darkness. Jesus, on the other hand, says, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will never die. And if he dies, he will live. And Jesus asked Martha, do you believe in this? Her mother said, yes, Lord, I believe. It is the same question that each believer uh, have in life, in, uh, in the faith of every believer. It's the same question that it is asked in each of us when we confront our own mortality or when we are found, uh, when the dead of someone we love has died. Soon, to face his own passion, Jesus uh, has come to Bethany to show Martha and Mary that life does not end in death. With an authority that comes from within himself, and from God above, he gives three orders. He commands, or commands. He does the same today for those of us who seek new life. And I would like to explain these three, three commands. The first command is said, roll away the stone. So they rolled away the stone. You bet. 
people will be saying, mm, it's thinking. They didn't know why they have, they, they didn't know why he's asking them to roll the stone away. But one thing is, they obeyed the command. Divine power always seems to be activated by our human cooperation. And it's also stifled when we do not cooperate. God will not do any, uh, do any miracles in the situation that we can do it by our own obedience. There are some people in the tombs of misery and of sickness. And we are on the other side. And are not willing to extend a help hand. Or are we, we are not willing to intervene. Or we are not willing to roll the stone away. I think I suggest this Lent is a time to lift up someone. To lift up someone from the toil. To lift up someone from expiration. And the second command I would like to go through with you is the command that is directed to the dead man. Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came. We do not know uh, the details of what transpired in, inside the, the, in the tomb. But all you know is that by the word of Jesus' command, he followed by immediate obedience. Lazarus drops away out of darkness from the dark room, a dark tomb, even when his hands and his feet were up, tied up in bandages and his face is wrapped up. Even a person rotting away in the tomb can still do something to help himself. He responds to the voice of the Lord. There is a lot of consolation for us uh, in this second command that no situation is deaf to the voice of our Savior. As we participate in the Eucharist, as we meditate in the, on the word of the Lord, as we, go, as we go about our daily chores, the Lord keeps us calling from situation of hopelessness, from situation of anxiety, from situation of fear, from situation of death, from situation of sin, to life, to come back to him. So this Lent is a suggestion to us to hear the voice of the shepherd and trudge out, come back home. The second and the third, the third command that uh, Jesus is commanding was addressed to the people. And it says, unbind him and let him go. Even though Lazarus could stumble himself out of the tomb, there was no way he could unbind himself. He needed, he needed a community to do that for him. So by unbinding Lazarus, He, uh, they were setting free and bringing him back, accepting him back. For us, for some of us in the community, it could be in the family. It could be from our churches where we, we worship. It could be from our previous relationship. Just like others, we, they change and we change too. They need a second chance from us. Whatever their sins, whatever their past, whatever they have uh, inscribed in our, in our hearts, the Lord calls us to delete. Just, you know, the delete pardon in the, in, in the, in the computer, you just press it, delete it. Delete all those bad experiences. To unbind others. To let them free, uh, live free again. Free to belong to. Free to, live, to love again. So this land is a challenge for me and you. Let us surprise one person. Who thought that we could not forgive them? Give them a call. Send them a text. Extend a greeting. Share a smile. You know, a smile is only without all we need. And bind them so that we, they can, 
be, they can too, we can too be uh, unbound genuinely by God. For us today, nothing is short of a miracle that can bring us life uh, back, uh, that can bring us back to life in Jesus Christ. Jesus is ready for a miracle and he's ready for you and me. So the question is, uh, are you ready to call? Are you ready to, to come to, to hear this call? Are you ready to roll away the stone and see the light of salvation? Are you ready to hear the voice that, come, that says, come out? Are you ready to unbind others so that we too can be unbound? May God bless his words in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.